Hello and welcome. Today we're going to look how to construct or draw the development of a pyramid. So we have here a question. This is the pyramid. So we have the dimensions. We have the base is 40. This is truncated square pyramid. So our square we have of side length 40 by 40. And then we have the axis or our height is 60. And then we have this other height which is 15 and then we have our plane then we have our plane so today we're going to look at the development of this pyramid when open at the shorter edge so the shorter edge you have this from this point you can name it point a to a so our first step we're going to copy the views the way it is So we already have our views. This is our base. Remember, this is our length, 40 by 40. And then we have this height, which is 15. Then we have this angle, 45. And then our height from the base to the tip or the apex is 60 millimeters. So from there, we're going to join our diagonals. So we're joining the diagonals. So we have that. So you can name this as one, two, three, and four. You can call our center here as O. Now we're going to find our true length. Remember, your true length and the axis should be perpendicular. So we're going to rotate this line O3 or line O4 to be perpendicular. Remember now this is our axis and we need 90 degrees. So it is we can either uh, rotate this point O4 downwards to form 90 or this point O3 upwards to form 90. So from there, I'm going to draw a line. A perpendicular line to our axis from the center of my square that line and then I'm going to rotate line O3 so from the center I open my compass to point 3 so that is how we rotate so we'll have this point is our point three prime, that point. So from there, I'm going to extend the base of our triangle. That is the base. And from there, I'm going to draw this line three prime to touch the base. So that way, so you have that line. And then join this point, let me call it point S. I'm going to join this point S to the tip or the apex of our triangle. So this is now our true length. So that is our true length. And then from there, I'm going to take the length of our true length. That is from the apex of our triangle to point S. I have that. And draw an arc. So I have that as my arc. Now from there, I'm going to take the length of our square which was 40 millimeters from point 0.2 to point 0.3 that is the length remember we have four sides so I'm going to have four subdivisions here so you have one two three and finally four 
so the last point i'm going to join it with the apex of my triangle so we have that now from there again we're going to name this one we're going to join all the arcs to the apex So we have that. So if I name the is point one, two, three, four, and point one. So we have that. Remember now our reading we are going to read we're going to take our reading from the true length. So I'm going to extend this line. I have this point our true length so you have this point remember it is four and three so you have three and four and then we have the last one point one and two point one and two so I'm going to take these readings from the true length so one leg of my compass at the apex i open it to point one and two remember we are reading from the true length you can see now we're going to cut on line one this is our line one and we have that one and also line two so we have line one line one and two so we have line two this is our line two sorry then from there we're going to take also point three and four from the true length three and four then our true length remember we are taking our reading from the true length cut line three and line four so that is what we have and then from there i'm going to join all the arcs the straight line Remember, it is square base pyramid. So we're going to join point one and two using a straight line. Remember it is square base. It is joined by straight lines. Have that. Point two and three. Straight line. We have three and four. straight line we have one and four straight line so we can outline the development have that and on this So we have that. So that is the development of our square base pyramid. Remember, uh, our true length, our true length should be perpendicular to our axis. That is the reason as to why we rotated line O3. And as well, if you can rotate this line O4, 
you'll find that these are the same point you can see so you'll have the same point if you are to rotate point four so thank you for watching and subscribe for more